Have you ever wanted to have WSJTX open and also have your logging software open, both having rig control for your radio? Well, with my 705, 7300, 7610, 891s, um, FTX, whatever, all of the radios, I couldn't do that. I could use one or the other. Well, now, with the ICOM 7300 Mark II, thanks to Gigaparts for sending it out as a loaner, get double points at checkout with code KMRD at Gigaparts. We now have two COM ports to run different programs with CAT control simultaneously. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are. We're looking at the screen of the 7300 Mark II. I've got uh, WSJTX open as well as Grid Tracker. And as you can see, we have no problem with rig control. And if I tune the VFO, we can see the frequency is changing on the radio and the frequency is changing in WSJTX. But wait, there's more because if we go over here to my logging software, RumLog NG for Mac, we can see, okay, look at the frequency right up here, okay? The frequency's changing. I can go down here. I can change. Uh, I can click on call signs in the cluster here. Changes frequencies, changes bands, no problem. But look at that. We have rig control still going while we're using WSJTX. So we have two separate programs running simultaneous rig control. Usually, if I had to go to WSJTX, I would have to go to settings here, and then under transmitter, I would have to turn off use cat to free up that COM port. Now, I don't have to. Well, I still do because I am sending this radio back to Gigaparts, but that is a feature that we now have with the 7300 Mark II. Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to hit the menu button underneath the screen. We're going to go to set. We're going to go down to connectors. And on page two of three, we're going to see this CIV there, but then underneath that that's highlighted USB B function. Notice I have that set to CIV. By default, this comes from the factory as RIDI decode, and it won't work when it's on that. You, you'll have the same problems. You won't be able to get multiple serial ports going out of it. But once you change that USB B function to CIV and then get out of there, we're back to using two separate programs with cat control simultaneously. How freaking cool is that? Yet another reason the 7300 Mark II is turning out to be quite the cool update from the 7300. My name is Mike K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube 73.